How you doing? How you doing? And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty, and I appreciate you stopping by today. And I know, I know, we ain't been here in a little while. Um, your boy's been pretty sick, um, still feeling pretty crappy and everything, but we're getting to be on the other side of things now. So we're going to go ahead and answer one of life's oldest questions, and that is, does Blade and Soul Revolution still suck? It might have you, some of you might be confused and be like, Patty, the game literally just launched on the 5th. How could it still suck? How have you even played it? Well, the game's not really, its global release was on the 5th. This game released over last summer. Um, and, you know, me and Blade and Soul go back a little ways, you know what I mean? Uh, right after Dragon Raja, it was the next hyped mobile in terms of like the mobile MMO community. It's what people were really looking forward to. It was so much hype um, in the works for this game. Like clans and guilds on games <clears throat> being like, oh no, we're all switching to this and we're going to go hard. Like I knew a couple of groups that were planning on doing that and hitting the game hard. There was a lot of hype. This was one of the first games that ever really disappointed me. <laughs> and granted, it was pretty early on. At that point, I had played World of Kings uh, when that had launched about a year and some change before. Um, and then dra a lot of Dragon Raja and everything. And that game was, if nothing else, absolutely beautiful. Just mwah, absolutely beautiful. And uh, Blade and Soul Revolution was being built on the same Unreal Engine the Dragon Raja was. So the expectations were high. And I we did a first look video audit and I just did not enjoy it to the point of, yeah, we're not touching this again. And I was not alone in that. Many, 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 many people were disappointed. We're talking locked characters, uh, locked genders, um, classes not really having any diversity um, or like real choice like it's kind of just a straight linear path there's not a really in-depth talent system um, and this was all at the time so this is all you know six to nine months ago it's been a good little while so I'm hoping that for the global release they've they've put some work into it and it is not the same clunky unfinished game that it felt like because there was a lot of polish on it but the systems underneath all of that immediately started to fall away um, and that's why they didn't really hold on to a lot of players now I've seen a lot in terms of marketing for this global release and a lot of hype from people around it so some of you may have missed its release over in Asia and everything and didn't, weren't, you know, front seat to that whole occasion. Um, so we're going to see. We're going to see if it's literally the exact same as when we took a look at it the first time, if they've taken and improved anything um, since their actual release overseas to what they're doing now on the global launch. So we gonna see, we gonna see. Um, we're using blue stacks to play this, so there is a good potential of a little wonk to be there because games, the they're just not optimized to run very well on emulators, um, or emulators themselves are just not very well optimized. Period. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, still sick. But it's so not all of the jank you're gonna see today is going to be at the you know fault of Blade and Soul Revolution. We, we can chalk some of this up to blue stacks, like the glitchy, weird thing that's been happening behind me the whole time where she's just sitting there like, yeah, that's that's probably blue stacks, probably not uh, the far fault of this. Um, and yeah, let's, oh, real quick, before we get into the video, if I can just ask you guys to be my John Connors, help small channels fight the machines, you know what I mean? The algorithm is always out here bullying us. Show the machines, you mean business, join the resistance. <laughs> Uh, but no, for real, all that stuff helps, like, comments, all that's huge. Um, I'm getting more and more people mentioning that they're not getting notifications for videos and stuff like that, so I don't even know if hitting the bell really even matters once YouTube's trying to suppress you. Yeah, you just get a little bit suppressed. But, yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get into this. I appreciate y'all. So, I, I have a feeling that we're not going to see anything crazy different um, for the character creation and that it's going to be base models uh, uh, for the classes 
and then I don't think you really get to change anything or customize your character from there, which, you know, to any other MMO or mobile MMO developer out there, that's a bad thing. No one, no one likes picking A, gender lock classes, um, or B, having no, no creation of their character whatsoever. Um, that it, it doesn't really do enough, boys. All right, so looks like the races and everything are the same. You see all the polish? They want you to see the polish, kids. We'll, we'll, we'll go into uh, a little bit more depth later on. So these are each of the essentially uh, races and everything. And then there's certain classes for those races. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, bad thing is that if you want to play a blade master you you play in as this woman that's it there is no other option for another gender um you so that's not great not great can't say that i th uh, agree with that <clears throat> so this okay the yoons are literally just a race of women apparently no dudes allowed we've got some chibi children okay with a little cat buddy that's sweet, that's sweet. So we've got Summoner, and then Force Master again. So Yoon also had one of those. We have another Blade Master. Okay, so two classes so far. Okay, Kung Fu Master, that's technically three, and then Summoners, so f four, no, it's still just, still just three, because it was just Blade Masters twice, right? And then Force Master. Yep, four. Okay. 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 Got Destroyer, and again. Okay, so we have five classes total. Um, and all of them are gender locked, except for the Jin Blade Masters. Okay, looks like Jin's, you get a, a little bit of choice in at least your sex. Okay. Okay. I don't think it really matters what we pick here because I do not see myself playing this long term. <coughs> this, uh, and we'll get into some of that in a little bit and everything, but though if this game is as pay to win as some of the stuff that we've seen in the past, um, that essentially guarantees a shelf life of maybe a year. And that's being super generous. Most heavy pay to win MMM mobiles drive players array in six six to three months is what most people can usually stand in that kind of gaming environment before they're sick of it so yeah i don't think class chain really really super matters it's always preferred that you go that extra mile and give people character creation now people will still complain about the gender lock thing um but at least having creation underneath all of that that's a good sign that's a good sign we like that there's unfortunately enough that don't even do that and it's literally just like hey here's this one character model and that's the only thing that you can play with no customer customization no changing your sexes just here you go play this one model we made and we made four of them aren't we good yay so i like seeing that we actually have um some little character creation that's nice <clears throat> uh, one of the things that i'm worried about that I don't think I would have been worried about as much if I hadn't had the history with Dragon Raja um, that I did. A lot of these games will have a lot of polish on them, but it's very superficial, and you start noticing it the more more time you spend on it. Um, so we'll we'll see. All right, getting some heavy Dragon Raj vibes. Wake up in a cabin, talk to a pretty girl first. Both check marks, good. All right, and if we click on this, will it just have us instantly start running there? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, okay. Oh wait, now I'm supposed to do something in here. Look at the arrow on the floor, stupid. Ah, we're waking a buddy up. I'm gonna be honest, can't even remember what the what the intro was like. It might change depending on your race, to be honest. I can't remember which race I played uh, the first time when we checked this out on its uh, Asia release. 
No, I'm definitely hitting that skip button. Did not notice you were there. Alright. Alright. Seems to be a lot of things that we can click on, like having me some options. Alright. Now we're So we have you have to manual up to a certain point before it'll start autoing. Okay. Not terrible. One thing I will say about these games is that seeing Unreal Engine um, being used on them gives me a lot of hope for the genre that in a couple of years we can see some really well flushed out detailed complex games using these kinds of engines on phone games. So that I am super looking forward to and I appreciate these games paving the way. Uh, that doesn't mean we ain't gonna call out some of the stuff that they do on, on the way there. Nami. Alright, so th this dude seems vaguely evil. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there now. If anyone's going to be betraying us, it's going to be the man to our right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good story's important, because most people care about that a lot more than I do. But also, don't take too long before I start getting to hit stuff in a game. I know that's a little selfish, probably very American of me, but I'm here to punch stuff and get stronger, damn it. Let's get to that part. Police. Yo, bro, I'm... I gotta, like, walk right up to your face, okay? Can't be, like, normal speaking to a person distance away. Six feet, man, six feet. I can talk, talk to you from over there. How you doing? How you doing? Yep, yep, I'll be a great person. Just keep teaching me magical powers, I guess, if that's what's happening here. <clears throat> Thank you, sensei and or stranger. Whatever's happening here. Oh, been with us a while. Okay, so Sensei. Sensei. We'll go with Sensei. Got a little item interaction. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, so... Intro's a little dry. Not the worst thing in the world, but... Definitely trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Cause I wanna fly. I feel like that'll let me fly eventually. Oh, how you doing, skills? Uh, we don't have a weapon equipped yet, so we can't use any of those fancy things. Okay, fine, fine. Give him the book, I guess. Oh, I had to give you a book on all of our knowledge for you to give me a weapon. Checks out. Checks out. Yay, things happening. Do I get to hit something now? Yeah, we are. Level three, look at that big old training axe. I'm gonna train the hell out of somebody with this axe. Let's go. Punch stuff. Okay. I do well like like how well everything is mapped out in Blue Stacks for this game. Definitely uh, shows you that it's been out for a while that they've been able to do all this. Okay. How's that combat feel? All right. Looks pretty. Looks pretty. Well done. Cool. Let me get to doing that a whole, whole lot, if you don't mind. I would love to do mostly that. Okay, if your parent company is not, like, the people that own Tekken, you have no business having my mans here. This is wrong. Okay. Oh, we got a block. Okay. And then we get a counter move from that. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Can I do this a few more times? Boy, that sprint button worked. That sprint button worked real well. Oh no, it's as far as you can go with me. I'm so heartbroken. Okay. And we're flying. And we're flying. I 
I did not hit the button correctly, apparently. Oh, you didn't even let me try again. You just instantly teleported me over here, huh? I could have done it. I could have done it. All right. <clears throat> well, I feel like I just disappointed my father, but outside of that, okay. All right, all right. I will say that so far it does seem less buggy because even basic movement was so clunky and awkward when the game initially released like it was an issue but we also haven't gotten into fighting too much and having to control our movement all that much so maybe we won't have to worry it well we haven't really gotten to the point of testing that yet Let's see if we can do that again bam bam shield slam that man's all right all right Ooh, no, it's still a little weird. Still a little weird. <clears throat> oh, you're just going straight getting right into it. That's what we're doing, huh? That's what we're doing. He's going to bully me like that, man. Look at this man making me crawl away from him. I told y'all he was the villain. I mean, probably not really, but still. <gasps> okay, okay. Oh. All right. All right. Sorry about that. I just realized it wasn't up on the side of me. I was like, ah, I need to see that. I need to see that right now. All right. So I do like that they make you manual your way all the way through the trial, but I wish they made this introduction section a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. We almost done with it yet? <clears throat> So I'd like to see what your character progression actually looks like now. Leave the cavern. I would love to. A wall literally stopped me. Okay. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You'll die if you're attacked while restoring your chi. Oh, that's a good thing to know. <clears throat> Way to warn me about that after I done done it. Okay, I don't know what you are, but we gonna hit you a few times. Oh, hey, little buddy. Oh no, what are these little things? I don't know, stuff to beat up? Okay, so y'all aren't really here. I can't actually attack you. <clears throat> okay, yeah, no, that's cool. That's fine, that's cool. It didn't just taste like sadness. No, no, not our ma ma master, teacher, dude we met at the beginning. Cricket. Boy, you call me Cricket? Mm, glad you did. <coughs> Oh no. Yep, they are going Dragon Raja. They're even killing some of the early on characters to like, oh no, emotions. Cassie, you being sneaky. You being sneaky right now. Go ahead and start waving goodbye to the old man. You definitely gonna die. Where's the Twilight's Edge? <coughs> Oh yeah, she clearly needed help with that, but okay. Oh, it's the thing he's holding on to. Yeah, we just fought a couple of those, like... Oh, now they're definitely not even, like, tracking towards me. Oh, you have my dead friends on the ground in here? Yo, that's savage. I love that. I appreciate you. Okay, so we are supposed to fight these then? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely doesn't feel awful. Definitely messed that up, though. Didn't need to punch that right at the end of the fight. <sighs> eh, 
and we'll just, you know, manually you because I don't know what else is after this. Yo, who called that? I called that. That man is 100%. Didn't I say? Didn't I say? <sighs> that man had the betrayer's face, okay? Like he had bad guy written all around here. If you didn't see that and uh, instantly agree with me, then I'm... Mm, mm, mm. Your boy's right. I'm right a lot. It happens. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to poison you and then taunt you for being pathetic. And then wince like a coward. Yeah. No, okay. D dialing in hard on some bad guy tropes here. Oh, the bird pieced out. That's funny. He's about to go out. Alright, did he just get a tail? Is he gonna turn into a, a, a dragon dwarf? What is happening here? Oh, oh, that man should definitely be dead now. Okay, okay. We got some transformations. Oh yeah, let's go help. We okay, no. What the hell is that controls? All right. And we don't get to actually do anything. Oh, I have to hit X to you. Okay. I like the controls. I like the controls. Okay. And don't even let me get enough in to feel like I'm learning a rotation. Sorry, use all of your attacks once. All right, cutscene. Okay. Okay. What, you just hit him so hard everything else exploded? What does that mean? How does that work? Oh, he's gonna hit him with the spirit bomb oh no he's he's threatening to kill me everyone else is dead <sighs> knew I shouldn't have gone in there <clears throat> not that I was given a choice Oh, is he shrinking back to an old man? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, and they're gonna, like, kill me anyways, right? Or something like that? It's gonna instantly just slash me with it, right? Alright, all of us should have just taken a little splash damage from that sword catching lightning. But okay. Okay. No, it's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay, it's the old man that she she kills, not me. <sighs> All right, so try to play on some really heavy emotional strings here at the beginning instead of creative world building, but all right, nothing wrong with trying to man emotionally manipulate your audience. Not the worst storytelling thing of all time. Not my favorite vehicle for it, but you know, you do your thing, do your thing. Aha, we're the ev obvious evil bad guys. We have muscly scary man, mad at her dad girl. Alright, at that point we should be pretty dead, right? Alright, off the cliff and everything too. Alright. Yo, and flashbacks of thinking of everything before we're plunging into the water. This is straight up the same. Was this made by the same company as Dragon Raja? Am I just secretly playing Dragon Raja 2? Thought that was supposed to be Noah's Heart. 
Okay. Okay. That is literally like almost word for word the same thing that happens in Raja. Okay. Okay. Well, at least this one isn't. We were stuck in the sea for how long and don't know. We were pulled out as a giant block of ice and then taken to the X Men school of we're all badasses. I mean, that's good world building. I don't know what you guys are about to do, but if it's a fisherman just picks me up. Okay, so a fisherman just picks me up. Okay. Ah, uh, are you going to die soon, too, to compel the plot? Hi, future probably dead girl. <laughs> All right. Well, so I think we're out of the training area, which means auto questing should work now. Cool. Let's spam through some of this and see if we can actually see what your progression systems look like. Now, one of the other major complaints that I've seen from this game so far is that the stamina system is almost awful. You look like Kit Harrington, um, but it looks like like his head don't match his body, right, y'all? Like that just seems abnormally off. It's just a little bit too big for that little old body. Anybody else? Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so I don't even know with the amount of time we have if we're going to get into this. Wow, is that going to be our new master? Probably. Yeah, definitely guessing that's going to be the case. All right, what's up, new dad? How you doing? All right, so... I don't think we're going to get far enough in to be get any real good glimpses at any of the systems in the game. But I will give it a couple of things off the bat that it does not look like a instant copy and paste. Uh, which is something that we see very commonly in the mobile MMORPG uh, market. So you're getting a couple of points there. <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of similarities with Dragon Raja, which is very concerning to me uh, because that game has a lot of polish. And after a certain point, the excuse me, the point of the polish is to distract you from a lack of actual in-depth gameplay um, that is missing from the game. So. There's been a lot of criticisms from people that its energy system basically, you know, time gates you so hard that you're only supposed to log in, play for 20 minutes unless you're spending money. That's always a bad system. Another thing is obviously going to be the pay to win aspect, and I don't know if we're going to be able to get through. Go ahead and just hit that skip button. Yeah. So where's. Do we have access to the shop yet? Is my question. What are you? Okay, that's that's a shop thing, kind of. No, not to there. Oh, there we go. So my biggest question here is going to be, does cosmetic stuff give you stats? Because if it's one of those mobile MMOs, then I'm going to tell you right now, its entire job is to try and milk some money out of you. Um, and okay so we've got pets that's another system where they whales can get a whole lot of stats um basically these are the uh on le less the least free to play friendly things in all of the mobile genre is mobile mmos because if somebody wh wails out hard and gets every single pet in the game and gets them all leveled up the amount of stats that they'll be getting from that is probably going to be anywhere between two to ten times what your entire gear setup gives your character 
Um, same thing with cosmetic stuff. If cosmetic stuff gives you stats, um, that is another huge thing that whales are able to throw money into and get a lot of stuff out of. And in the long run, it just makes it so uneven that, again, it's one of the things that is likely to drive players out in that first three to six months that we talked about earlier. So I, I'm wishing I was getting the chance to see... Not seeing any skin stuff yet. This is all mostly just starter things. Nope, get out of here. I ain't giving you no money. Nope, those are just straight up better weapons. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so if we're having a hard time navigating the shop because there's so many shop things that's that's a great thing right you guys feel safe right now not in any way like you're in an area where you're going to be preyed upon no no that would be silly okay so we'll we'll have to do some follow-up on this dig into it a little bit more um, see what the real complaints are about a it's end game b it's character progression c it's pay to win stuff and we'll try and get some videos out along those lines but since this just launched here in america and everything i wanted to go ahead and do a video where we talk pretty honestly about it um so those of you that might be checking it out right now can have some of that information and yeah i'm at the end of the day, I'd say it looks like they've got some things worked out better in terms of optimization and things feeling a little bit less clunky, but that's not the key to gameplay. If, if they've made it feel better in the minute to minute how it plays, that's a good thing, but if there's still a lot of the systemic issues and everything in terms of the stamina system, in terms of the pay to win and everything, um, all that stuff dramatically lessens the life of these kinds of games. So as new players, it's definitely something I want you to understand. Uh, if you do invest money in this, it's likely going to be worthless in six months to a year because either the game will be completely dead or you would have been driven away by then. Just statistically, it's very likely to happen. So I want you guys to be careful. I don't want you guys to wail out in these kinds of games. Um, but it, it does look like it's got enough polish that if you understand all those systems and you just enjoy playing these games in a free-to-play sense until you get bored and frustrated of its poor systems, then do, do you. you. This looks like there's enough here that you guys can get some enjoyment out of that side of things. Just, you know, be careful. Don't pull your wallet out. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Thank you to anyone that decided to be a John Connor today and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, or left me a comment. Like I said before, y'all just straight up leave periods. I'll go heart that shit. I'll heart the shit out of it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate you. You're going to have to catch your boy in the next one because uh, we're out of here. Deuces. <laughs>